The Mandalorian does a pretty good job of cramming potentially earth-shattering reveals into episodes that would otherwise appear to just be pure fluff. Sure, even the fluff episodes are awesome, don't get me wrong, but we don't tend to expect to get what we got at the end of chapter 12. Now, before I say anything else, I'm gonna put up a major spoiler warning here for chapter 12, since I'm literally going to be talking about the end of the episode in this video. So if you haven't seen it, you've been warned. All right, so everyone ready for spoilers? Cool. What were those nasty looking troopers Moff Gideon was hanging around with at the end of the episode? Clones? Robots? Or maybe something a little bit more sinister? Let's go ahead and dive right into it. Okay, so really quick recap of what happened at the end of chapter 12 so that I can make sure that we're all on the same page moving forward. After finding out that the Imperials had placed a tracker on board of the Razor Crest, we see an officer reporting the news to Moff Gideon, who is standing in a rather evil looking place on the swanky Star Destroyer that he uses as his flagship, which now that I think about it is already pretty evil, but you know, just gotta up the evil factor a little bit, I suppose. As the episode comes to a close, the camera pulls back, revealing that the room is full of some kind of dark suited trooper, each in their own separated cubicle of sorts. Now, these are meant to be some kind of big threat. Probably the key to everything that Gideon has planned, or at least an aspect of it, I'd imagine. But what the heck are those things exactly? Well, I and many other fans across the internet seem to agree that those are probably dark troopers. Now, I'm sure that even mentioning dark troopers has given at least a few of you some nostalgic flashbacks to many days spent blasting your way through dark forces. And yeah, I'm right there with you. But for the rest of you, you might be wondering what the heck a dark trooper even is. Well, for that, we just have to look back at the old Legends continuity. Don't worry though, as we do have some canon information about them that we'll talk about here in a little bit. Now, as I mentioned, the Dark Troopers played a big part in the 1995 PC shooter, Dark Forces, which saw the best Star Wars character of all time, Kyle Katarn, having to take on basically the entire Imperial Army, all in an attempt to stop them from developing a new type of trooper, known as the Dark Troopers. These troopers came in three different phases, starting off with what is kind of just a fancy souped up battle droid, all the way up to something that's basically a mech suit that looks like a beefcake stormtrooper. Don't let those descriptions fool you though. These dark troopers are no joke. There is a reason why the rebellion had to send in Ka Katarn, also known as Star Wars' version of Rambo, to take them out before they were ready for prime time. As it was believed that if the dark trooper were to be deployed on the battlefield, it could very well mean the end of the Rebel Alliance. But yeah, that was all in Legends. What about the current canon? Well, believe it or not, the Dark Troopers, specifically the Phase 2 Dark Troopers, have appeared in official Disney-produced media. Specifically, the Dark Troopers were a unit in 2014's Star Wars Commander, a mobile game that is actually considered canon. Therefore, by connection, so are the Phase 2 Dark Troopers. So case closed, right? Those are Dark Troopers. My work here is done. Well, okay, just because they look like them doesn't exactly mean that that's what they are. They could be a few other things. But I still have a piece of potential evidence that could back this theory up. Do you remember a little bit ago how I said there were three phases of Dark Troopers? Well, that was a bit of a lie. Okay, not really, I guess. More of an omission, I suppose, as there was actually a Phase Zero Dark Trooper. What makes this phase different from the others, though, is that they aren't robots or mechs or anything like that, but cybernetically enhanced clones. Clones like those that we seem to have seen during this very episode. Dun dun dun! So, here's what I'm thinking. Moff Gideon has himself a battalion of Phase Zero Dark Troopers. Maybe even ones that he was hoping to soup up even further with some Force powers. Which would be why he would need Baby Yoda. Are you okay? <laughs> Turning them into something similar to the Reborn Troops from Jedi Outcast that faced off against Kyle Katarn. Man, that guy did not have an easy go of things, did he? No wonder he wound up being such a badass. He kind of had to to survive. Hey, Dave Filoni and John Favreau, while I appreciate that you guys are giving us a live action Bo-Katan and Ahsoka Tano, how about giving us a little Kyle? Might be pretty cool to see him fighting dark troopers alongside Mando, just saying. This could be interesting. All right, I'm in. What do you think? Are those dark troopers or could they be something else? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And while you're down there, why not consider subscribing to Screen Rant for even more Kyle Katarn focused content just like this. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there.